have Coach Sylvia Hatchell in her 31st season at UNC. Uh, Stephanie Watts, sophomore guard, and Destiny Walker, also a sophomore guard. And um, Coach, just recapping last season for us, you guys had so much youth, um, finished 14 and 18. Um, what were some of the takeaways from last year and your thoughts on the season? Well, the best takeaways was these two right here. Uh, rookie of the year, ACC. This one played more minutes than any other player in NCAA last year. So those were the two best things. And the fact that they you know, were just both freshmen, but they were McDonald's, uh, you know, All-Americans. And then, uh, you know, that they've also, you know, gotten a whole lot better since last year too. So that's the best thing to take away from last year. Yeah, and with, with the, all of the playing experience and the opportunities that the young players did have to contribute last year, how much will that experience carry over into this season with so many people coming Oh, back? it's already been major. Um, I mean, I can't tell you how much better they are, I mean, because they've worked so hard in the offseason. But also, we went to Scotland and Ireland this summer and played. So we were able to have 18 practices this summer with these guys, but also the seven freshmen that we have. Um, and so, you know, that just made us better and better. But taking that trip, we played the national team from Scotland and from Ireland. We, you know, won all of our games over there. So that, that was tremendous. And what, what was that experience? like for you guys? I mean, it had to have been a really cool trip overseas and seeing a different culture. Oh, it was great. It was wonderful. You can ask them about it, but the team bonding was tremendous. Uh, you know, just the, I don't know if you've ever been to Ireland, <laughs> Scotland and Ireland, but it is fabulous. But it was just a really great, great trip. But, you know, it was just a, a great for the, the players. And, and plus, you know, like I said, they, they got to play with all the new kids and in every game we just got better and better and better. You talked about the freshmen, seven freshmen joining mm -hmm. the team. Who of that group um, can we expect to see make an impact? On? Well, we've got several freshmen. I think it's the best freshman class in the country. But it's got to be the largest, but uh, I think it's the best, too. Uh, Taylor Kunane, and she is going to be a really, really good player. Uh, she was the... Um, she was Gatorade Player of the Year in Minnesota last year. She's about 6'1", 6'2". She can play on the perimeter anywhere, shoot threes, take the ball inside, do all that good stuff. So she's going to be really good. Um, Elisa uh, Oconee, she's going to be really good too from Houston. She's about 6'3". She can dunk the ball, a tremendous athlete. Um, just really, really good around the basket. So those are, are two of our freshmen um, that I think are going to be impact players right away. And you're also adding Naomi Van Ness, who's yes. six mm -hmm. six, who I believe is the tallest player since Waltia Roll. Uh, yeah, she's uh, six six is underestimating. I would say more like maybe six seven. Uh, when if you go back and look, and I actually looked this morning before I came here, her family has been on record as the tallest, one of the tallest families in the world. But coming out of um, of uh, England and. Uh, that uh, in 2014, I believe there was a story written about they were the, the tallest family there and one of the tallest in the world. She, she has, she's six, seven. She has three brothers over seven foot tall. Her dad's over seven feet tall. Her mom's about, mm, she's the shortest one at about six, two, six, three. Uh, you know, so, and Naomi's gonna be really good too. You know, she's just young and she hasn't played basketball that long. Yeah. Um. You're also getting back redshirt senior Hillary Fuller, mm -hmm. who will yes. be the only front court player with previous collegiate playing experience. Um, what impact are you expecting her return to have? And do you think with the compliments of the other sides that she'll have around her mm -hmm. um, will help with the rebounding? Yeah, we have one senior, one junior, and the rest are freshmen and sophomores. So, but Hillary is a fifth year because she had a uh, torn her Achilles and shows she was out, uh, but she's, I call her the mayor because she's so smart and she's a great leader. And I tell her, you know, you're going to be in politics one day and you will be a mayor. So uh, I've, I've called her, started calling that about, about two years ago. Uh, but she has, is a tremendous leader, very smart, uh, understands the game, and she's so good at mentoring the younger players mm -hmm. like these guys. Um, and this year um, was the first year um, since 1988 that no Duke, North Carolina, or NC State in the NCAA tournament. From your perspective, I mean, does that just speak to the strength, not only of this conference, but just as women's basketball as a whole? Well, our conference is very strong. There's no doubt about that. Um, you know, I think last year was a very, like you said, unusual uh, year. Um, NC State probably had one of the better teams that they've had. 
uh, but us and Duke both were really sort of down because of you know other situations and stuff. But uh, again, I think you know we're, we'll both be back up and everything. Um, but uh, our conference is really really good. You know, of course, adding Notre Dame and Louisville, Syracuse. Uh, you know, those guys has, has helped us without a doubt. But uh, last year, you didn't have the typical Carolina Duke teams that, you know, we were both used to having. But I think, uh, again, you know, I think we'll, we'll both be back. Uh, if, I mean, I think we'll both be back probably this year, but without a doubt within the next couple of years. And a lot of the buzz has been around the new location for the ACC tournament this year. Mm -hmm. um, it's been in Greensboro since 2000. And um, what, what are your thoughts on the new location going to Myrtle Beach this year? I love it. I love it. I, 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 my second home is at Myrtle Beach, North Myrtle Beach, actually. Um, I have a picture on my phone of my house that was flooded <laughs> this past weekend down there. So, But early this morning, um, I talked to John Rhodes. He's the mayor of Myrtle Beach. Uh, and... Uh, you know, John, he, he's a basketball guru. He loves basketball. He's on the McDonald's All-American Selection Committee. So you can tell he loves basketball. So, uh, you know, I was excited. And, and we play there every year. This coming year at Christmas will be the 22nd year in a row that we've played there at Christmas time. We're going to play um, LSU and uh, Jacksonville, I believe it is, that we play down there this year, 18th and the 20th, I believe, of December. But it, we've played there 22 years in a row. So, uh, you know, it's, it's like home down there for us. And we actually have better crowds down there than we do uh, in Chapel Hill. <laughs> I hate to say that, but it's true. Uh, but, but they love us. They love women's basketball. You know, and we've played on the court at Coastal Carolina, the new facility where, where everybody's going to be playing. And when I talked to John this morning, I actually wrote this down because um, whenever he uh, became or was running for mayor eight years ago, sports tourism was his big thing. And, uh, you know, so they have, uh, uh, you know, they're, they're one of the top five places in the country. Uh, for sports tourism now with over uh, 100,000 hotel accommodations. And right now, Myrtle Beach is the third largest uh, resort in America uh, with 18 million tourists a year there. So, but they are one of the um, top five in tourism, sports tourism in the, in the country right now. So they love uh, sports and athletics, and that's because of John. And, and the people at Coastal Carolina, uh, you know, they have just, I mean, they, they're, they're going to have a great setup. And the atmosphere will be tremendous. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm really excited because, you know, we play down there at Christmas every year. Mm -hmm. so, so this is really, really good. And I think it's going to be a, a great venue for us. Awesome. You're going to have the team over for a cookout at your house down there? <laughs> <laughs> we go. We go we for a team building. I mean, you know, we, yeah, I took them last, last fall. We went down and spent the weekend at my house on the beach and, and uh, did a lot of team building things on the beach. And we have a great time. So that's, like I said, this is my second home down there. And, um, Stephanie, wanted to ask you, um, again, such a young team last year, and both of you guys had huge opportunities to come in and make an impact. You certainly took advantage of that um, ACC Freshman of the Year. How much did all of that playing experience for you, um, how was that going to impact um, the season for you this year? Um, I'm really excited about this upcoming season. Like Coach Achel said, we do have a lot of new freshmen. But um, as far as all the playing time last year, um, it helped tremendously. I'm, I feel like a way better player than I was last year, not only from all the playing experience, but I feel like I have the best coaches in the country, so they were able to um, help me develop as a player by believing in me and giving me the opportunity to play and make mistakes and learn on my own, so I think that's helped a lot. Now, what's been the biggest um, part of your game um, from the end of last season through the summer and into the fall that you felt like you've worked on? Um, Definitely defense. I've been working um, hard on the defensive end, getting my legs stronger, being able to uh, stay in a better defensive stance, just always um, being active, knowing where the ball is at. So the coaches have been um, helping me with that a lot in the off season. And Destiny, for you, obviously logging the minutes. Um, so fatigue was never an issue for you. But just talk about the experience, again, the playing experience. And now only a sophomore, but minutes-wise, you know, you're almost an upperclassman. How have you been able to sort of take those younger players under your wing up to this point? Um, definitely. I know um, coming out of high school as senior, I know that players' dreams are to come into college and get a lot of minutes. And for Steph and I to come in and start and have like the most, what we were like top three in minutes in um, like AC, um, ACC history, that was really a big thing for me. And then also we had um, really good experience 
And so now that we have seven freshmen coming in, we can, we have so much experience and we played so much last year that we can like relay the message onto them and we know the plays so well. We, now we can play um, fast break more since we have more players to sub in and out. So yeah, I'm excited for the season. Awesome, are there any questions in here? Coach, right here, we'll bring the microphone. Mike Potter with the Rowland News Observer. This is for Coach, just uh, building on the, the earlier question about them getting to play so much as freshmen. Is it almost like they're juniors right now with their experience? If you add up minutes, they probably would be. It might be seniors. <laughs> so if you add up all the minutes. So, uh, but, you know, that's, that's only going to help us out this year. And our perimeter game is going to be really good. I mean, these two and then Jamie, Paris Key. I mean, this kid was on the 18 and under USA junior team two years ago, and she's going to be an impact player. I mean, I'd put our perimeter game up against anybody in the country, anybody. And the fact that they were able to shine as much as they did, oh, yeah. were, they, were they ahead of schedule at all from what you were looking at? Mm -hmm. Last year? Yes. Uh, well, at times, but they were young, made mistakes and everything. But now, because, I mean, over what they've done over the summer, I mean, and, and how they played when we were over in Scotland and Ireland, I mean, it was, it's in, it's, they're on a different level. Both of them are. How many threes did you make uh, last game, Destiny? Seven. Seven? Okay. <laughs> this is for the players, I guess, Destiny, you can take it. Um, how much did that trip to Europe help you guys as far as oh. with the freshmen and getting used to them and yeah. how, how much further ahead of you now than you would have been? I think it helped a lot because coming in our freshman year, Steph and I played a lot, but before we didn't, we weren't able to practice as much. We weren't able to like get a feel for our teammates before playing season games where it counts. So like I think that really helped our teammates. Our freshmen, we have so many. It helped us get a feel for them and like now like we're closer. So I'm excited for the season to see them play. And Coach, one more question for you. We've, we're celebrating the 40th anniversary of the ACC tournament this year, and um, you've been at UNC for 31 years. Are there any specific memories that stick out to you from, from the tournament? I know you've had a lot of great ones, but when you sort of think about 40 years, um, what does that sort of mean to you? Wow. Yeah, I was at Francis Mary whenever they, um, ACC started uh, women's basketball. I used to go to the tournament when Fayette, it was in Fayetteville. I used to drive up about an hour up the interstate from Francis Marion and meet Kay. Kay Yow would always greet me at the back door and let me in, and I'd, I would go sit with at the scores table and all that. So I've been around even whenever I wasn't coaching, but, uh, you know, just a, a lot of great moments, a lot of great venues, and, uh, you know, I'm just proud of the ACC and the commitment they've made. You know, I think, uh, you know, John Swafford and Norland and, and Bernie before Norland just has made a commitment to make it uh, the ACC the best in the country. Um, and I think they've done a great job of doing that. I'm really proud to have been a part of that for 31 years. Uh, you know, it's always fun to win. Uh, there's nothing like the balloons falling out of the, the, the ceiling and uh, cutting down the nets. Uh, but, uh, you know, the ACC has made a tremendous commitment. And, you know, again, I'm just really proud to be a part of that. And, you know, I look forward to the future. I look forward to getting back to, to playing for ACC championships because if you look throughout the years, I think we've won nine, but I believe in, gosh, I don't know, 18 in the last 23 or 24 years, you know, we've actually played for the championship. We hadn't won them all, but we've played for, I'd, I'd say probably, you know, somewhere around 18 in the last 23 or 24 years. And so, you know, we've had a couple down years that we haven't been in that championship game, but I'm looking forward to getting back there. And I, I don't, there's no doubt that we will be, be back.